Good evening, short story writers. I was going to say tonight um, I'd forgotten one thing, but I, I know I don't need to tell you this um, about getting your stories ready, and that's to check your grammar, okay? Make sure your apostrophes are okay, IT apostrophe S, where it's, it is, and where it belongs to it, I-T-S, obviously, all your T-H-E-R-E's, etc. If you're a writer, just absolutely pre-check. Everybody, occasionally, especially if they're writing by hand or typing fast, they'll make mistakes unintentionally unless, well, it happens. It, it just happens so absolutely go through for grammar and spelling mistakes that are what's the word homophones things that sound the same as other words that words sound the same when they're spoken but they're written differently and they have different meanings very important i think will blow your credibility as a writer faster than a mistake like that Okay, but that's not what we're talking about tonight. What we're talking about tonight is... Seems to have been in my news feed for a couple of days now. Somebody took a truckload of, or a lorry load of, depending on which word you wish to use, of carrots and dumped them outside an establishment. So that is your story prompt. You wake up and you've had a neighbourly feud or a family feud... And that person has dumped something outside your door. Now, it doesn't have to be a ton of carrots. It could be another kind of protest. What led to this? Is this the climax of your story? Is this the beginning of your story? And you've got to deal with it and do something about the feud. This ties in with a few things that have been happening recently. There was a fight in the street the other night. Uh, the police came knocking on the door. So I would imagine the people having the fight, they would be all for a bit of you know, car paint scratching. There's a lot of ways of carrying on a feud. But also, on a side note, it reminded me of an incident in my past where I was in a car with two friends and we were in a country lane and there were a lot of very strange road signs. It wasn't just beware of wild animals. It was things like beware of badgers and beware of, I don't know, parsnips. So I flippantly said, oh, beware of potatoes on road. And we turned a corner and there was a potato on the road. And we were, my how we laughed. We turned the next kind of windy sort of road, not a motorway. There were two potatoes on the road. We turned another corner, there were three. So we started looking at each other, thinking what on earth is going on. And then we turned another corner. And there was a deluge of potatoes, but let's put it like this. If you went to the shops and bought this many potatoes, you'd probably need help carrying them home. There must have been at least a 20 kilo sack worth on the road, maybe two or three, and we had to drive very, very carefully over them. We did not stop and pick them up in case they belonged to somebody and they were going to come back and collect them. Because you don't, and, But, so strange predictions. So that could be the theme of your story. Somebody who makes a flippant remark and it comes true. It's like a kind of Midas touch. There you go. Those are your story prompts for this evening. Midas touch based on flippant remarks or kind of revenge story, bizarre revenge story that can be attributed to an accident. So in a way it's aggressive, passive aggressive, if that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> interesting to read what came of those prompts and I will with that bid you good evening and if you've enjoyed it there's a like button got one of these ding 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 and press it that would be fabulous good night